Greetings, this is Edward Jumbo. In this tutorial, tuples will be used for array functionality in Python. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning Python course and learning PHP course. Arrays are indexed as a list in rows and columns. Tuples are ordered, unchangeable, and allow duplicate members. The jumboshop.com learning Python course web ID can be used for this tutorial. The ojumboshop.com learning Python course inspired this tutorial. As you know, Python can be compiled from source at GitHub. Python can be installed from download binaries. You can use the web ID that includes Python. So let's begin. So I'll create the variable to hold the values for this tutorial. So tuples use the round brackets. I'll make this much faster than the previous tutorial in that I'll create the duplicates right here as well. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll print them out. run this to make sure it runs. Yeah, see, uh, this is our output here. So the first thing we do, we'll grab the length or the number of items in the tuple. This should be six. So we'll use len for length. So what this does, it's the number of items. You see it's six. Next, we want to display the second item. So if you remember the in computer science or computers, they start at the index of zero. So we've put one, that actually means two. So this will second this will be the second item by the index. So this should be John and it's John. Next, if we want to display the last item, we just use minus one instead. So this will be the last item. So the last item should be James. There we go. Now, we also want to count how many times, for example, John uh, appears. Now it's two because it has a duplicate twice. So we use count. and the value is John. So it should be two, so run this, and it's two because John appears twice. Now if we only want uh, the first time John appears, this is, uh, so this is the, if you want to display the index, index of first element with specified value. So this should be one because zero and then one, or zero one. So it's one there. So you can get the full tutorial of jumbo.com slash python hyphen array hyphen tuple. And as you can see here, I have the common functions we use today, len, count, index. I explain them here in the table. And if you want the source codes, you can just expand here to grab the source code. And this is the screenshot of the Net NetBeans IDE. Remember, NetBeans is also open source, free and open source. And this is the video you're watching right now. And of course, if you need to, uh, Python is also open source under the Python Software Foundation license. If you want to learn uh, programming, the full uh, learning Python course online at ojumboshop.com, we'll take a look at this. If you also want to learn PHP, you can also get it at jumbo.com. 
and if you want to learn if you prefer to learn by ebooks on your own you can go to you can get the ebooks they're currently at Amazon so I'll click here and of course if you prefer to get one-on-one -on -one, uh, tutorials online live you can go to jamboservices.com I'll explain this in a second and all the references are here at the bottom see the learning Python course learning PHP course learning Python ebook on Amazon learning PHP ebook on Amazon and the Jumbo Services uh, is just a jumboservices.com. So let's hop over to ojumboshop.com, learning Python course, and here is the learn, uh, learning Python course. As you can see here, you can save uh, using promo code school until the end of 2024. You get 20% off. And the good thing about this course is, here's a snippet. It has the syntax, the color, uh, the syntax highlighting. Then you have the Abutin Web ID, which also has syntax highlighting, and then you ha you can compile the code in in real time as well. So then you can get uh, uh, the output here. And that goes the same for PHP. If you want to learn PHP, it's the same thing. You see the syntax highlighting there, and then your sample code, and you can compile it and view the output as well. Now, PHP is popular for interactive web applications, especially websites such as, for example, WordPress, the platform. And Python is also very popular. You can create websites with it, or you can create apps, desktop, mobile. And Python can also be used for scripting, such as uh, a Blender. I have some examples and AI, as you can see here, machine language and robotics. So if you want to go to Amazon, what you do is you simply search for Edward Ojambo. You can literally just go here and just type Edward Ojambo there, and you see I'll come up first. And uh, just go to my page here. So if you have Kindle Unlimited, you can get it uh, for zero dollars and otherwise you have to pay the full price and that's for the learning python ebook the learning php ebook is also available it's older if you go to ojumboservices.com uh, the front page if you need help with the web design migration databases pci compliance e-commerce or integrating third parties such as logistics shipping or payment processors can do that for you uh, that will most likely be done in PHP, but the backend can be done in Python or Java or JavaScript as well. And uh, if you if you if you want your application to be updated, that's for desktop, mobile, or web. I can do that as well for you. Uh, it could be for the Mac, iPhone, Microsoft Windows, Google Android, Linux, or other uh, operating systems. And if you want to learn programming, or maybe you just need some help with some software, so whether it's Blender, it could be Office Suites, it could be learning uh, Rust, PHP, JavaScript, Java, PHP, Python, anything, I can help with that. There will be tutorial sessions, they will be custom made just for you, and they will be done online. So there's three ways you can contact Ojambo Services. You can go to the contact page, that will come back in a second. You can do a direct dial if you're in North America, or you can, uh, uh, sorry, you can do a direct dial from anywhere in the world, or if toll free, you can use this number if you're in North America. So let's go to the contact page here. So contact page, just fill in the information, and we'll get back to you within 24 hours. Thank you.